Jake, I'm a personal trainer down here at JWPT in Nottingham. I'm going to talk you through a popular exercise, the lunge. I'm going to show you body weight, I'm going to show you how to do this with dumbbells or kettlebells as well. Um, it's a brilliant exercise. Um, it's an exercise that everybody's strong enough to do. I'm going to show you the cues to realise what you need to work on to improve your lunge and just how to do this safely and effectively. I'm going to give you a side profile first and then I'm going to give you a forward facing lunge too. Um, the exercise setup itself, so it's going to focus on quads, hamstrings, glutes, a degree of core and lower back. On here, feet hip width apart. From there, you're just going to take a reasonable step forward so your back heel comes off the floor. From there, you're going to lower the knee down, press your way up, staying soft at the front leg. Step two, step through. Nice and steady down with the knee, so then your back heel's off the floor, we've got the front knee over the toe, posture's upright, press up, step two, step through, and down. So in this position we've got hinged at the hip, knee, flexed at the ankle, as well as we are at the other leg. Posture's nice and upright, press our way up just like a split squat, and through. And the reason I'm demonstrating this is a walking lunge is I feel it's a lot more functional, it'll relay into sporting activities as well as running as well. Step forward, knee down, press up, step two, step through, back knee down, press it up, two, through. Nice and controlled. Progression here with weight would just literally be handheld dumbbells, kettlebells. Another variation could be a sandbag or a barbell on the back of your shoulders and repeat the same thing. When we start to add load, it becomes really important that we keep the axle, our spine nice and upright so we're avoiding that loading on the lower back and reducing that risk of injury. The forward lunge towards you guys is what I want to point out here is when I lunge towards you, I'm keeping my feet and knees hip width apart. This is something I always know when I'm working with clients on the gym floor or out in the park doing boot camps. Is step forward, when you come down, I want to see here that the hips and the knees and the feet can remain hip width apart when we go down. Press it up, step two, step three. I want to keep all the joints in good alignment, reduce the risk of injury, pressing our way through. But also it shows that you're using your glutes to keep the hips externally rotated slightly as we lunge. The cue there is those that tend to have weaker glutes or not using activating those glutes as they lunge, they tend to kind of what I call bow-legged. Don't really want to demonstrate that, but as you come down, you see how the knees travel, knees knock towards each other in this centre line of the body. All of a sudden, everything's out of line. If we can brace the glutes, we bring the knees apart so we're nice and squeezed through, step down, press it up, and through. So try and make sure we keep the knees hip width apart, everything in line from the waist down as we lunge forward and then also you see the side profile. Walking lunges, dumbbell lunges, kettlebell lunges, great exercises, use them appropriately in your strength training program. Hope you found this insightful. Thank you.